The SQ11 mini DV camera. There's not much to it, just this little camera unit and it comes in this box as well. Inside, you've just got some paperwork as well as these two little attachments. You can plug them in together and they actually can mount the camera. The camera though isn't too much, just this little unit. It's only got two buttons up the top to control it. The image quality is not the best you've ever seen, but it's decent. So how do you control this camera and what does it look like? Let's jump into that now. So you can see the uh, instructions for this camera are quite lengthy, but hopefully I'll be able to just give you a quick overview so uh, you can quickly get up to speed with how to control the SQ11 because it can do a lot of cool stuff. So actually before you do any of that, you're going to need to plug in an SD card. So this one, I just made a video about it. It's this AlphaWise 32 gig SD card and it's actually actually surprisingly good. It was about $3 as well. So it's a perfect thing to pair up with this super cheap camera. So you just need to plug that in up the top. And then once that's in, you'll see there's two buttons on the top. Press the on button. And then now you see the power button's on. So right now this blue light means that we're actually in 720p recording mode. So if I press the power button again, you'll see the lights flashed and now it's turned off. And that means we're actually recording 720p video. So I can move it around. And we're actually recording video on this camera. I'll press it again to stop recording video. And now what we can do with this other mode button is actually cycle through the mode. So right now we're on 720p. That's what this blue light means. If I press the mode button, you can actually see we've got a red and a blue. It's a bit hard to see on the camera, but the red and the blue LED are both on. And that means you're in 1080p mode. So this SQ11 camera can shoot 720 and 1080p video. Neither of them look the best, but switching into 1080p mode will give you slightly better quality at the expense of draining the battery a bit quicker and just using up a bit more space on the SD card. There's also a third mode. If we press mode one more time, you'll see it's just the red light. And if we press the power button, you can see we've actually just taken a photo and the red light is the photo mode. So those are the three main modes, this camera, the 720p recording, 1080p recording, as well as the photo mode. And then you just press the power button to activate either of those. So there's actually a lot of cool sort of extra modes that this camera can do, including you can see around the rim of the lens, there's actually all these infrared LEDs. This camera can actually shoot in the night, like in darkness, it's got a night vision mode. So let me quickly show you how to activate that. So to activate infrared uh, night vision mode, you can see I'm just in the 1080p recording setting. And so what you've got to do, you just need to hold down the power button for two seconds. So if we count one, two, I'll let it go and you'll see it's flashed three times. So now it's in night vision mode and you can actually just press the power. You will start recording. And now we are actually recording in night vision mode. So obviously it's daytime, but if I put this out at night, I'll have a clip up. You can actually see the IR lights emit light so that the camera can see at nighttime, which is pretty cool. One thing you might notice though, if you've just taken this out of the box, is that all the things that you take with this camera, the videos and the photos all have timestamps on them. So that's something you might not want, but you can actually change that. You just need to, first of all, you just wanna be turning off this camera so you don't corrupt anything by just holding down the power button and you'll see it's just flashed off. Then we just need to take the, SD card out of the camera and we just want to plug it into our computer so you'll see once you've plugged it in and opened up the uh, SD card folder there's a little like text file you just want to open that up and change the Y which stands for yes to an N and that'll actually remove the timestamps or alternatively you can just change up the date so that it matches the actual date and then you'll have an accurate timestamp for this camera another cool feature of this camera is actually you can plug this into your computer and use it as a webcam it maybe doesn't have the best quality but if you don't have a webcam from computer, then it might be a cool idea. So we just want to make sure we've got the camera turned off. There you go. So we just need then to take out the SD card. And now using the included cable, this cable also comes in the box. You can see one end is this sort of mini AV cable, which can plug into the back of the SQ11. And then the other side, you can see we've got a USB to charge it as well as an AV cable. So this is to connect to your TV. We don't need this, but with this cable, if we plug this into our computer, we can actually use this SQ11 as a webcam. So I've just plugged the SQ11 into my laptop, into my MacBook Air. And now if I open up Photo Booth, you can see it's actually automatically connected to the camera. I'll just do it so you can see. And there you go. Ah! There you go, there's uh, where are we? Where are we? There you are. So you can see it's not the uh, prettiest video. Is out the window. 
It's not the prettiest, but it is pretty cool that you can use this as a webcam as well. If you don't want to have this, you know, just off the cable, you can connect it to your laptop and use it that way. So there you go, that is the SQ11, the SQ11 mini DV camera. Look, it doesn't make the prettiest photos and videos, but it's such a cheap camera and really, I think it's pretty cool that for only three or four bucks, you can get a camera that can do some cool stuff, take some cool videos. It's even got a night vision mode, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, as I said, it doesn't produce the prettiest uh, footage. It's pretty ugly, let's be honest, but at $4, I still think it's a pretty cool thing. You can even connect a little keychain on it. It's got this cool little sticker. Overall, I would have to say that uh, it's a pretty cool thing. You can check it out in the link in the description. Apart from that though, if you want to see more technology, then definitely subscribe and leave a like on this video. And I would love to hear from you. Yes, you, person watching this video, what other cool tech do you know about? This was like three or four bucks from straight out of China. I'd love to hear what other sort of stuff, like this camera even, like the SD card I just reviewed, any sort of random cheap tech that you found from China that you think is pretty cool. Let me know in the comment section. And if I think it's pretty cool as well, then I'll definitely do a video on it and I'll even feature your comment in it. So that'd be awesome if you could leave those comments down below. Apart from that though, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.